from Greggles TV. Today we're going to talk about the Shield Software Upgrade 2.0. Let's check it out. So what's new? You get GE Force Now, which is unlimited streaming of over 50 PC games from the NVIDIA Cloud Gaming Supercomputers, which was, is basically the same as NVIDIA Grid. They've changed the name. And as you can see, it's free for the first three months and then it's $7.99 per month. Uh, to get started, download the new Shield Hub app from Google Play. Looks like The Witcher 3 is one of those games that's available to be played. Immerse yourself in great Android games, Battle of Soul, Unkilled, Pac-Man 256. A lot of these games I have already done videos on, so they're not that new. Um, you can now play Android games in 4D, so if Shield now supports 4D Ultra HD game rendering for crispier visuals. Uh, the following Android games are now enabled to render in 4K. So Beach Buggy, Bomb Squad, Hardwood. Let's see what else. Riptide, Video Poke. So that's kind of cool. Now these games, those games play in 4K resolution. So um, I won't really be able to check this. Well, I'll be able to check it out on my own, but I won't be able to uh, capture it. I'll have to capture it on my phone in order to do that. Explore exciting new features for media enthusiasts. Let's see what we got here. This is a huge update, guys. Now you can get more to your personal media collection with these great new features. Expanded codec and container, container support. Add pass-through support for Dolby True HD. Adds MPEG-2, VC1, WMV9 hardware acceleration. More Windows Media stuff. Look at that. Dolby True HD DTS. 23.976 um, playback. I thought that was already enabled, but I guess it's whatever. They finally have overscan adjustment. This was missing before. A lot of people um, would complain that the video uh, on their video on their TV was not lined up correctly. So now it looks like that is an it, you can adjust for that now. It's a nice update. Uh, additional enhancements. Let's see. Enhances the video playback experience for Netflix and YouTube. Adds the ability to transfer files from USB storage to a micro SD using the ES File Explorer. Adds the option to manually turn off the shield controller by holding the NVIDIA button on the controller for six seconds. Lowers audio gameplay. All right, guys. So let's do this update. I don't know if it says how big it is. Does it say it up here? No, it doesn't. So I will start this update, guys. And I will see you boys and girls on the other side. All right, guys. Welcome back. The update is installed. It was about 700 megabytes. And there are a few things on here. So in order to get, we're, at, we're looking at the Shield Hub right there, Shield Games, Game Stream, GE Force Now. <clears throat> you need to go to the um, Google Play Store right here and type in the search box GE Force. And then you'll see the, the Hub update. You just update it and then it changes all this stuff. So let's look at Shield Games first. See what we got rolling in here. It looks like exactly like the other game, the other uh, setup before just with the just has a new look to it on the, on, for that icon but the look of this looks the same all the games are the same I don't see anything popping out of me that have, we haven't tried before or seen before so get off of that game stream <clears throat> this should be that part I don't know it's gonna be uh, it, when you want to uh, stream your games from your PC so that's the same as well GE force now is the new um, subscription model they have which First three months are free, and you can uh, stream top end game. So buy it. So like, you know what? Actually, I, this isn't. I thought this would be one of the games you can stream for free, and it doesn't look like it is. You can only buy it. And that's kind of lame. And it's sixty bucks. Usually, you can find this game on on. Uh, if you have a PC, you can find it on sale for cheaper than that. But I mean, I guess the good part of it is. You must be a member to buy this game. Includes GOG Digital Key for PC Dallas. So I guess if you own good old gamers <clears throat> subscription uh, digital key, you can play this game. So that's a bonus. So I guess you could get it for cheaper if they have it for cheaper. GOG always has sales and stuff. Um, yeah. So it's all the same games that were there before when it was free. <clears throat> um, let's see. Let's see what's free here. If anything's all these games were here before. Yeah, nothing remarkable right here. 
The only game that you can buy that which is kind of cool is The Witcher Three. You can look by genre. Let's see, buy and play instantly. These are all the buy and play instantly games. Is what, eight of them. They're all kind of oh well. Metro's kind of new, but included with membership. So if you have a, if you pay eight bucks a month, <clears throat> you get these games right here. Which are all the same games that when it was free. Nothing amazing in here, but it's cool to have a subscription. Multi controller, so these are. If you have friends over and you want to play these games together with a friend, kind of cool. Otherwise, that's really it for this. Um, Netflix. Uh, other than that, that's basically the update. It looks exactly the same as the other one did before so it's not much uh, difference in the way the UI looks let's see what version we're still on version 5.1 Android so guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up uh, if you have any questions leave it in the comments down below see you guys down the road thanks for watching peace